Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about event handling using Sling APIs. So there is an interface resource chain listener available to write a event handler using Sling APIs. So as part of this tutorial, I'll talk about Sling event handling, how you can write a event handler using resource chain listener, and then we'll have a demo. There is an interface available called resource chain listener, which is being used to write your handler using Sling APIs. This resource change listener handler registered with the framework and framework will provide you a list of resource change objects or resource change objects in a list to handler when the event triggered. Resource change listener take this object resource chain and get the required information uh, like what kind of event, what is the location and other required property re required to perform any action. So now you must understand how you will define what kind of event it will be listening to. So there is a property. We will be writing the property in at the rate component notation like we did in the OSGI event handler. There is a property called changes and in this you will be defining what kind of event it will be listening to. And if you want to define at what path this listener or the handler will be listening to the events you can define using another property called paths you will be writing both these properties inside at the rate component annotation now let's say the pseudocode how you can write that so as i said we have to implement a interface called resource change listener once you implement this interface you have to implement a method called on change uh, framework provide you a list of resource change objects basically this list contain all the objects required for this events or whatever the events triggered this will contain the information about the resources what resources change what is the location and other required information which is you need to perform your task you can iterate these objects as per your need and you can perform your action so what kind of event it will be listening to so inside this property at the rate component notation property you will be defining changes inside change change will contain a list of events so here this is the way we write so you can define inside changes like what events you want to listen like right now i'm doing uh, listening for add remove or change if you want to listen to a particular path you can define inside path you can define multiple paths as well here but for sake of you know simplicity i'm defining only one path so any whenever any resource is either add remove or change under this path this event listener or handler will be notified by with the event uh, with the object resource change object a list of resource change object and you can perform your required operation by getting the information from this objects now let's move to demo where we'll see the different use cases of this event handler so i have added a event handler using a resource change listener so i implemented that and i implement that method on change so as soon as uh, so what i'm doing here i'm just iterating all the objects from the list which is provided by the framework to handler and i'm just printing what is the type of event it is and what is the path of resource in logs so just let me build it this event listener will be listening to the events under this path card so let me create a page under this so i created a page as soon as I create a page and if i check the logs you will see two events has been added this is the previous one so let's see this first for this add this page test one and another one for jcr content and both events are type of added so we are adding two nodes here now let's say let me add a property to this created page and this time i'm adding this property using crst just to show you so I'm adding a property called text and value is equal to text. So as soon as I add this, there, there must be a event trigger for the change, resource change. So let's go to the logs. And if you see there event type is equal to change and this 
this resource means the GCR content has been changed because we added another property to this. Again, rather than printing in logs, let's add some property. When some event is triggered, add some property. So what I'm doing, I'm getting a resource resolver from that service user using resolver util. I have already explained this in one of my tutorial. If you did not see that, please go back and check that tutorial. Then from that path, so I got path, path I'm getting in the resource and I'm adapting that resource to node and then I'm adding a property like event handler task event what is the event and by the user so as soon as I any event is triggered a property will be added to that resource so let me build this now let me create a page under this card so page 4 page has been created and So let's directly go to the CRXT. Just refresh this, and you will be seeing here one property has been added, like event changed by Geeks user. I hope you understood how you can write event handling using Sling APIs or resource change uh, listener. If you have any question, please do comment. Thank you.